Hello, it's uh, only me. Um, I just thought, with it being Good Friday, I'd uh, just share some some thoughts, um, reflections, musings that I've been having recently. Um, I've not written this down, so this is just a stream of consciousness. So you'll have to to bear with me, possibly. We'll see how it goes, um, and so we'll see see where it leads us. Um, start with a story. Just a very short story, not much of a story really, but um, a few weeks ago we had one of Julia's friends come to, to stay with us and we stayed overnight. First time I'd met her, first time she met me, um, I, we got on okay, brilliant, she's a lovely person um, and then I think a few days later, um, we're talking among, amongst ourselves, it was me and Julia and she was telling me how much her friend uh, liked me, she thought I was great, which is always nice to hear. Um, but she also said that she'd sensed a sadness in me. Now at first I didn't quite know how to take that. Um, so I thought about it. And actually, yeah, probably fair and accurate description. Um, think about some of the things that I've been through. You know, we've been through sad times, difficult times, challenging times, and sometimes our experiences, what we go through, yeah, they leave their mark on us. Uh, they they attach themselves to us and they they affect us and become a part of us. That that stays with us. And there's a lot going on in the world that still makes me sad. Things that we worry about. It's the, the ongoing Covid pandemic. We see thousands of people dying, more getting sick. We see it affecting people we know and we love. Um, it affects the, the country, it affects the, the world, it's affecting the economy. It's, there's a lot there to, to, to be sad about and to, to worry about. Look at wider issues. Um, you know, we've got the ongoing climate crisis and climate change. We've got issues of inequality um, and poverty, um, homelessness, the the rise in food bank usage. All things that uh, you know, issues that we can feel sad about, and that can can worry us. I suppose the good thing is there's nothing wrong with, with being sad. There's nothing wrong with being worried. It's what we do with that sadness and that worry. Do we let it affect us in a negative way? And just retreat back into our holes and sit there feeling sorry for ourselves? Or do we take that sadness and use it positively? Do we let it spur us into action? I think it's better to do that. Again, looking at personal experience, look at the experience of people around us. If people hadn't taken their sadness and let it spur them into action, we wouldn't have food banks. We wouldn't be part of the in churches um, and helping the homeless that way. Looking back, if people hadn't taken the things that they were sad about and worried about and things that really had taken a hold of their heart, we wouldn't have seen the, the suffragette movement or the civil rights movement. This is Good Friday. This is... Um, time when we think about the sadness, the sorrow, the suffering, and none of those words really cover what Jesus went through. We think about what he did for us. We think about the suffering and the sorrow that his family and his friends must have gone through. The uncertainty 
and again this is something that will have affected them and probably stayed with them even with the great joy of Easter day still to come the events of that that night where Jesus was taken away beaten and ultimately crucified is something that would stay with those who witnessed it so what do we do at the moment we're all in lockdown we've all got stuff that we're worried about stuff that makes us sad do we just sit here feeling sorry for ourselves or do we allow it to spur us into some sort of action do we allow it to mould us shape us and do we mould and shape that sadness into something positive that's our choice.